Joyce Yang is with us, making her debut at Heinz Hall with the Schumann Concerto, Manfred Honeck, and the Pittsburgh Symphony Orchestra. Miss Yang, welcome to Pittsburgh. Thank you. We are delighted to have you. And it's always great with the Schumann Concerto. This is such a beautiful piece, really gorgeous. Kind of a love song from uh, Robert to Clara Schumann, his wife, who played it, yes? Yes. Uh, just in the rehearsal, we were saying that's where the Clara theme comes out. So really be over, be sensitive to it, not just uh, play it. So we were discussing this, uh, the romance behind the, the piece, yeah. definitely. Tell me what you love the most about it. Well, Robert Schumann, I have to say, uh, is one of my very favorite composers that I come back to over and over again. And right now, he probably is my very favorite. I love the... Uh, all the character pieces for piano solo and, and um, the quintet and so many pieces that I just come back to uh, with love. And the concerto, I think, is really one of the greatest things he wrote. There's so much um, nostalgia and passion, but it's all sort of enveloped in this uh, sort of almost whispering, very personal uh, way of telling uh, the story and the music. And I think it just, uh, you know, I get oozy in a good way every time I hear it, all these circles of fifths and uh, modulations. It's just a total a work of genius. And there were some new things in this concerto. It's path-breaking in some ways. Of course, it started in an odd way as a fantasy, and then he came back to it later and added the second and, and third movements. I think uh, it's it's that classic Schumann starting the phrase in the middle of the sentence and of course surprising us where we we thought he was done with the statement. It's it's like a it's like a bouquet of flower that each flower is um, so completely different, but the way he puts it into one grand piece, it somehow just comes together. And that's one of the things I love about Schumann's playing. It just it's ever so. Uh, surprising it never goes where uh, you think it's gonna go and there's such spontaneity built in the music and uh, I just feel uh, so free it's so there's so much life in it and uh, because of that playing with the Pittsburgh Symphony it really feels like chamber music we're just responding to each other and um, each passage is just uh, uh, really a big, wonderful conversation. Now, uh, but, but about the music, one last thing I wanted to ask you, the uh, the technical challenges, anything special for you there? Anything that you think is especially interesting for the, for the pianist or technique? It's uh, quite challenging for the head, I feel, more than the fingers. It's, uh, he plays tricks on you. There's a lot of sections where that, I call it built-in spontaneity, where it should end, but he loops it three more times. Uh, so it just, um, you have to make sure that you know exactly where you are, because this piece is one of those, uh, the fears of getting looped, and it just sounds perfectly natural because it's all built in there, but um, it's just these little exits left and right that we need to absolutely be sure that we're going to take that route. So I think that it's that mental technicality that's um, more difficult than um, the fingers. Don't don't get me wrong. It's it's not easy for the <laughs> for the fingers, but uh, it's um, quite orchestral. A lot of it is um, the orchestra having the main um, line and I am simply there to shade and give colors, give support and and then take over. But uh, I think a lot of it is that um, it, that conversation, it's truly like a chamber music um, piece playing with the, the symphony and they're so sensitive to every little thing that um, I do that it's going to be full of um, hopefully full of great nuance and this very intricate uh, back and forth uh, uh, playing with a great orchestra is like a, a ping pong match that the ball never gets dropped you know even if I, I, I serve it to them in, in a slightly different way they will catch me and it's just a thrilling process. This is your Pittsburgh Symphony debut have you heard the orchestra before do you know Manfred Honeck at all? No, this is absolutely my first co collaboration, and uh, both with my show and the orchestra, and uh, I I was just blown away. I just feel like I'm this like little boat floating on top of this gorgeous ocean. It's just uh, a really wonderful feeling, and the I guess the hall is uh, 
so great that I can really just whisper on top of all that texture and you can still be heard. So it's really quite exciting. And it's exciting the way you came to us at the last possible <laughs> right. moment. Uh, Ellen Grimo became ill and uh, you got the call when and where? It was less than 24 hours ago. <laughs> I was, I had just finished the performance in Fort Worth, Texas, and it was quite a celebration after. So I was quite exhausted and thinking I'd just take the rest of the day off. And I had, I was at baggage claim um, at an airport when I got the call from my manager saying, uh, uh, we, we always communicate by email. So when he calls me, I know something's up. <laughs> It was, um, in a way, a gamble to say yes, but it's kind of um, uh, thrilling once you say, I'll do it, because you know you have next 12 hours to resurrect it and get on the plane and go there and really play your absolute best, hopefully, for the first time in front of all these talented musicians and I don't know, something in me said, it's Robert Schumann, it's my favorite piece, and Pittsburgh, and uh, the maestro, and it's the best case scenario, and if I need to be on the piano for the next 24 hours, you know, I'll, I'll go through whatever I have to do to get myself ready, so I bit the bullet, and here I am. <laughs>